What up, YouTube? Today I'll be doing a Young Don the Sauce God reaction. Caught her with her ex. Yikes. Let's get into this video. The year is 2013. I just moved to California to start college, and that's where I met her, Sarah. I first saw her in the basketball gym. She was a hooper, point guard. I still remember the first thing she said to me. Hey, did. Can you pass me the ball? Uh, yeah. Yeah, here you go. I was so not interested i mean she was cute i guess it's kind of hard to tell in all that basketball gear but uh just the way she said dude you know what i mean like uh i thought she was strictly vegan i.e she ain't mess with the meat you feel me but she did have a thick teammate who i was hopeful was on that carnivore diet if you know what i mean so one day i asked sarah if she wanted to hang out because I didn't have enough balls to just go and ask her friend. So I was hoping that I could use Sarah to throw me the oop, you follow. So the next day we meet up before she had to change for practice. And I was pleasantly surprised. She was wearing makeup, girly clothes, her hair was all out and long. I was like, hold up, maybe shorty do mess with the meat. We kick it for a little bit, walked around hold the it, campus buddy. a couple times. And by the time we had to part ways, I was starting to feel shorty and I was pretty sure she was feeling me too. I wasn't even thinking about getting her to throw me to assist with her friend. Because like my coach always said, it don't matter if you laid up or dunk it. Two points is two points. You feel me? You want to know what else I'm feeling? This award-winning game. This no. Hey, come on. Come on, man. Come on, Don. Come on. What are you doing, man? You know? Wow, dad, really? What? The next time we hung out was at my place. I lived in an apartment beside the college with my boy Will, who is now my co-host for my podcast, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Anyway, we link up at my place, and we do what young college kids do. You know what I mean? I don't got to get specific. Just knowing your boy went for a dip. I ain't talking about He dived in. So we do this thing for like a month, and of course, your boy catches feet. I wanted to take things to the next level. So one day, we were chilling in the room, and Sick. I asked her, Hey, you want to be my girlfriend? Um, no. Okay. I was flabbergasted. You yeah, feel me? Because we were doing the whole thing. All the relationship boxes were checked, my G. And she didn't give me any thought vibes. You know what I mean by thought vibes. You know, she dressed modestly, posted pictures of like flowers on Instagram, went to church. Of course, anyone is capable of anything. But even now, when I look back as an older and wiser guy, she was a decent person, bro. So I was a little surprised that she didn't want to, you know, get into a relationship. But it had only been like a month. And we were doing all the things boyfriends and girlfriends do anyway. So... I don't stress it. There was one thing though. Whenever we were hanging out without fail, she would get a text message from someone with the name Gardner. And it happened so often that eventually I asked out of curiosity. She never once talked about this person, but clearly they were close. She told me that it was close. It was one of her girlfriends. And at this point she had never given me a reason not to trust her. So take her by her word and figured that it must be her friend's last name so sometime after that we go to a college party together that was being thrown by one of my basketball teammates we were sitting on the couch when she wanted to show me a picture on instagram apparently there was some weird thing in the picture that she wanted to see if i saw it you know it was like one of those situations I don't know. the picture was dark and blurry and i needed her to zoom in but this was before you could zoom in on the Instagram picture. So she took a screenshot and then opened it in her photos app. So she hands me the phone, I zoom in, and I see the thing that she was talking about. And right as I'm handing her back the phone, the app backs out of the photo into the photo album. And for a second, my eye caught a glimpse of something that seemed very suspicious. I didn't have much time to take it in, but my eyes must have been on some straight Sharingan timing, bro. Because I was certain 
Now, I saw a picture of Sarah with some dude's arm around her at the top. Ooh, she got next, dude. Ooh, you feel like a simp now, young Don? Of her photo album. Now, the fact that it was at the top of the album meant that the photo was fairly recent. On the outside, I managed to keep it calm and cool, like I didn't see anything. But on the inside, my mind was racing a thousand miles an hour. I decided I wasn't going to mention it. The party ends and we head back to my place. You know, hang out for a little bit. Oh, yeah. I was still suspicious, but I was also 19 drunk and horny. Afterwards, she leaves. I couldn't sleep. Was I tripping? Did I see what I thought I saw? Has she been lying to me about talking to only me? What was going on? The next day, she comes over to hang out, and I was tense. I, I couldn't let it go. So I asked her to show me her photos, because I needed to know if I saw what I thought I saw. She hesitated, and that told me everything I needed to know. Still, she opened her photos app, and there it was. Of course, she didn't delete it. She didn't know I saw it the night before. Who's that? <sighs> That's my ex. But Don, I swear, it's not what it looks like. This is an old picture. He sent it to me recently. He wants to get back together. See you for the streets. Come on, come on. See you for the streets. You, you notice, Don, you notice. Come on, just, just move along, you know. Just tell her to get out, you know, just get a next girl, you know. But I am done with him. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Uh. So, so you, you still talk to him, though. We, we dated for a long time, and he sees me as a close friend, and it just didn't feel right to cut him off. But I promise there is nothing going on between us. Uh-huh. What's his name? Tyler. His name, his name is Tyler. Tyler! Tyler? Was she playing me with a dude named Tyler? Then a light bulb went off. What's his last name? Don, it's not how it looks. Sarah, I swear to God, if you lie to me right now, I will find out. And when I do, I will never speak to you again. What is his last name? Gardner? You fucking bitch. I knew it. I knew something was up with this Gardner dude, man. What are you doing? I'm calling him. Don, can you stop? See, th th this is what black Caribbean dudes do. You know, call a guy up and, you know, question him. You know, what's up, bro? You know, you talking to my my female, you know. And, and what's up? You know, <laughs> you trying to scrap? Like, you trying to catch a fade? What's up? You know, <laughs> we could do anything. Yeah, this, this is what we do. Please. Don't worry. I just want to talk to Don, me. please, stop. Please, just give me my hey. phone. What's up? Yo, what's up, bro? Uh, who's this? Oh, this is Don, the guy who's been fucking Sarah for the last oh month. Who are you? Don, are you being serious? Dude, mm. like, Sarah is my girlfriend. Is, is she with you right now? Yeah, she's, uh, she's mm. right here. Yo, clear some up for me. Are you or are you not dating Sarah? Yeah, dude. Never stop seeing Don each other. Lying to me. Huh. All right. Uh. Well. Uh. You. You can have her. And then I hang up the phone. Sarah tried to convince me that he was lying. That he was just trying to make me not want to talk to her anymore. Cop. She admitted to me that she saw him on and off after they broke up. But since she started messing with me, according to her, she hadn't seen him. She claims that he really did send her that picture recently, and that it was old. She said he cheated on her during senior year of high school, and that's why they broke up. But she was struggling to put it behind her, which is why she still maintained communication with him. But she swore after this, she was done with him. I ain't by not one word of that shit, man. I told her to get out of my apartment and never talk to me again. She that's begged, the right thing to do, man. cried, and I laughed. But the truth is, I was heartbroken. 
I really liked this girl, but she lied to me too many times to believe anything she was saying now. According to her boyfriend, she was cheating on him with me, but I felt like the one who got played. Every other day or so, she would text me, apologizing all over again to give her another chance. But at first, I would just delete those messages. But then, a couple weeks passed, and I wasn't mad anymore. And I still missed her. Also, her side of the story started to make more sense. Because if a dude called me from my girlfriend's phone and told me he was sleeping with her, I would have been way more mad than this dude sounded when I was talking to him. He almost sounded friendly. Long story short, after a few weeks, I took her back. I took a while. Simp. Simp activity, man. Come on. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? It for me to rebuild trust with her, but I realized that the reason she didn't want to get into a relationship initially was because she wasn't emotionally done with her ex. And although that doesn't excuse her lying to me, I was able to understand why she did what she did. And we ended up staying together for four years. She was a great girlfriend. And when we broke up, it was because I was just ready to move on to a new chapter in my life. And I needed space to do that. Plus, it's not like I was perfect during that relationship either, to be real with you. <laughs> Remember Bianca? She found out about that never once held it against me ultimately i have no regrets and i wish her the best moral of the story i probably i probably should have hollered at her friend instead perfect i remember people looking at me like well that was young don the sauce god i caught her with her ex i mean hey young don always com comes with heat you know um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.